Hey fellow fishing fanatic, in this video I'm going to tell you why 12 pound test is the best all around line to use for bass fishing. My name is Wesley Littlefield with anglers.com and 12 pound test is the best simply because it allows most lures to act naturally or the way that they should to trigger a bite. However, that doesn't mean that you should always use 12 pound test. As a matter of fact, there are several cases when I wouldn't use 12 pound test at all because it'll end up costing me fish. So today we're gonna talk a little bit deeper into when to use 12 pound test and when to use others based on water conditions, based on what lures you're throwing and on what techniques you're using. So let's get started. So 12 pound test, like I said, is great for allowing lures to act naturally. So what, what do I mean by this? Specifically like throwing moving lures is when I use 12 pound test the most. So on a lot of crank baits, a lot of chatter baits, spinner baits, lures like this, the diameter of the line doesn't interfere with the action of the lure. Therefore, it makes it look natural. You can do a lot more with it. Like on crankbaits, you can usually get it down just a little bit deeper than you would with heavier line, which makes 12 pound test a lot better for that. But like I said, there's some cases when I wouldn't use it and that would be like around thick, heavy cover. So I'm talking docks, in the brush piles or in the grass where that fish can wrap your line around a dock piling, a limb, it just run and bury itself into the grass. You know, you, you run the risk of breaking off because they just added a whole lot of weight that that line was not designed to do. Now you have to kind of find a sweet balance between that and that's usually when I step up to almost like 15, 17 pounds somewhere in there just to give it that a little bit extra strength but still allow the lure to look as natural as possible and in some cases if the water is really clear not allow the fish to actually see the line. Another instance that I would not use 12 pound test is finesse fishing. 12 pound is just too heavy. Typically when you're finesse fishing you're in ultra clear water and you're really not around cover so you can get away with eight, six, even four pound test at times but you really need to know how to set your drag if you're going to go down and finesse fish. So finesse fishing, go lighter. And that goes hand in hand with when you're fishing clear water like I was talking about. If I'm fishing ultra clear water, I'm going to stick to that 8 to 10 pound test just because I don't want to run the risk of the fish seeing the line. But more importantly, even that, that smaller diameter line allows the lure to look even more natural than even a 12 or 15 or 17 pound test. So that's why that 8 to 10 is a sweet spot for moving lures especially when you're fishing ultra clear water. Now if you're fishing muddy water, you can go a little bit thicker and not have to worry about it because that action doesn't have to look as natural because the fish can't see it as well. And you know, they're not going to see the line because the water's muddy. So you can go a little bit heavier. However, I still tend to stick to like that 12 pound, maybe 15 pounds. I bump it up a little bit in the muddy water. For the most part, I like 12 pounds for most applications. Now, another thing is also the type of line that you're throwing. So braid, which I've got some brightly colored braid here. This is actually 80 pound braid. And it's about the same diameter, if not even smaller, than this which is only 30 pound mono or yeah monofilament here and this monofilament's a lot thicker it's a lot stiffer so I'm not gonna be able to get as much on my reel it's gonna be harder to cast and therefore I go with a braid most of the time and when I'm fishing braid it's gonna be 30 to 50 pounds I just have this 80 because I had some catfish rigs tied up but if I'm bass fishing it's gonna be 30 to 50 pounds and it's going to be my main line and then I'm going to tie on to a, a lot lighter line of mono or fluoro. Using braided line as your main line allows you to put more line on your spool and it allows you to fight a little bit bigger fish than you would have 
as long as you're tying a good knot and you have a good reel, know how the drag set up, and understand the gear ratio. Now, if you have no idea about gear ratios, I've actually got a video down below me right now that you must check out to understand what the best gear ratio for bass fishing is and why that is, along with the other gear ratios of reels and knowing when to use them. So I'll see you in that video. But before then, remember that education is important, but fishing is essential.